I'm going to walk you through the steps of PRKI surgery. A few seconds before the surgery, the surgeon applies anesthetic eye drops. These are topical eye drops that are quick acting and renders the whole procedure virtually painless. The first thing you're going to see is a punctal plug. Now this little plug is inserted into the lower tear duct and it keeps your tears from draining. This actually keeps your eye moist and aids in healing. You really can't feel it at all and you can't see it and it dissolves on its own anywhere from 30 to 90 days. The next step that we do is we use an eyelid holder to gently hold the eye open during the process. Now it may feel as though you're blinking with the eye holder in, but you're not. You're just staring at a red blinking light and the surgeon is talking to you throughout the whole process. The first thing you're going to see is an instrument called a well. Now this well holds an alcoholic solution that we place on top of the cornea on the epithelium and what it does is it weakens the bonds of the epithelial cells. It allows us to easily remove those cells and discard them and then we can apply the eczema laser. We hold the alcohol solution on there for about 30 seconds. We use a small sponge to then soak up the alcohol solution. Then we actually use some BSS to dilute any excess alcohol solution that maybe you remain. We use a couple more dry sponges to soak up the excess fluid. You can actually see where the well was in place on the cornea. The surgeon then centers the patient, maybe adjust the lid holder. and he uses another dry sponge to gently peel back the epithelial layer. And Once again with the anesthetic drops in the patient does not feel virtually anything. And Then we just discard the epithelial layer. That will regenerate in approximately three to four days. The great thing about PRK is there is no flap so the integrity of the cornea is maintained much more so than with LASIK where there's a flap involved in the whole process. Now we apply the cool beam of the eczema laser to do the reshaping. You can see that there's small movements, even rotational movements of the eye itself while the laser is treating. We have the ACE eye tracker which is the most advanced eye tracking system available in the United States. It actually moves left, right, up and down, and also can follow any rotational movement, which is optimum, especially if you have astigmatism. When the cool beam of the eczema laser is being applied, you can actually hear it, and you can even smell it, but you can't see it, and you can't feel it, and it's over within a matter of seconds. Then we put a little BSS on afterwards and, and place a contact lens on, this is a protective contact lens with no prescription that you keep on while the epithelial cells heal. So you keep it on for three to four days and then the doctor will remove it after that time period. We apply a steroid drop which is in a cloudy drop, an antibiotic drop, and an ANSAID drop which is sort of an ibuprofen for your eye that allows you to minimize the discomfort over the next 24 to 48 hours. Surgeon then removes the speculum, and that's it for PRK.